going on everyone? Daniel Vardmull here for Fitness FAQs. Today I want to talk about the differences between the straight bar and the parallel bar dip. Let's start off by talking about the straight bar dip. We want to think about what position we're actually in when we're doing straight bar dips. So when we're doing them, we're assuming an internally rotated shoulder position and we lower down to 90 degrees, press back up. This is a really good exercise variation if you're someone that's looking to improve their straight bar muscle ups. This is because specificity is absolutely king when it comes to getting stronger. And if this is a movement that you wanna get better at, then doing the same type of dip will really help you out with your muscle ups, especially if you're someone that finds difficulty with the dipping portion or you're getting fatigued at the transition with the push. With the straight bar dip, it's actually a pretty awkward exercise if you think about it because the range of motion is limited by the bar. This means you can generally only get to about 90 degrees, otherwise you're limited or you have to excessively lean forward to compensate for the, just the mechanics of the exercise. And furthermore to this, with your body mechanics, when you're doing it, you actually need to lean a little bit forward and then your lower body has to come forward just so that you can balance your center of mass over your base of support. So this exercise, even though it's highly specific for the muscle up, it's not one that you're easily going to be able to throw on weight and then go really intense with. It's going to be more of an accessory exercise that's going to serve as a supplement to your muscle up training pretty much. I really like the straight bar dip as a preparation exercise before doing things like Bulgarian dips on the rings, just because the joint angles are very specific to this movement pattern. So if you're someone that's trying to build up strength for Bulgarian dips on the rings, the straight bar dip is going to be really worth your time. Now, when you're doing a dip exercise, it's going to target the chest, the shoulders, and the triceps. But when you're doing the straight bar dip specifically, you're going to preferentially get a little bit more chest activation. The reason for this is we've got to think what the chest actually does. So the chest, shoulder flexion, internal rotation, adduction at the shoulder joint. So with the straight bar dip over the parallel bar dip, the straight bar dip places you in more internal rotation. So if you try this out, you'll see what I mean, but more pec activation with the straight bar dip. If you're someone that's looking purely for size development with this bodyweight exercise, go the straight bar dip if you're trying to build your chest. Let's talk about the parallel bar dip. This is one that we're very familiar with. Most of us do, most people in calisthenics or even your regular gym goers, and for very good reason. Let's talk about shoulder position to start with. Your shoulders are neither forcefully internally rotated, like the straight bar dip, or fully externally rotated. You're in a relatively neutral position. And for most people, this means happy, healthy shoulders. And this allows you to push your intensity, even add significant amount of weight to the exercise in a really safe manner. So this is absolutely fantastic. What's great about the parallel bar dip too is the range of motion. We're not limited by how far we can go because of the bar. So you can go as far as your shoulder mobility allows. For most people, 90 degrees or slightly lower is going to be perfect. If we take a look at the body mechanics of the parallel bar dip, we can see that for the most part, we tend to stay in a more upright and extended position. This allows us to preferentially recruit the triceps. So if you're someone that's looking to develop your tricep strength and size, the parallel bar dip is going to be a better option. Of course, like I said before, it's a dip. You're using shoulders, chest, and triceps. It's just a matter of which one you can get a little bit more recruitment activation and subsequent strength and sizing. Looking at what's happening at the elbows, we can see the transferability of this exercise to most other exercises. You can think of the tucked elbows, push-ups, dips on rings, etc., etc. Most of our exercises are going to be done with relatively tucked elbows. So you can think for the most part, many people will benefit from spending most of their time on the parallel bar dip. To wrap it up guys, which dip variation should you personally do? This always comes down to what are your personal goals and your preference? 
If you're someone that is getting pain with a certain exercise, try the other one, see if it's more suitable for you. We've all got different range of motion, strengths and weaknesses, and it's important to determine the exercise that you can do safely and progress over time. That trumps absolutely everything, that trumps all the details. Really keep that in mind and take that away from this video. If you're looking for strength in a specific position, for example, muscle ups, and you need to get into that internally rotated shoulder position, straight bar dips. If you're someone that has grumpy shoulders with that position, go to a more comfortable parallel bar dip. If you're someone that wants increased range of motion, adding load to the exercise, go the parallel bar dip, but always choose the exercise which suits your goals, your body, that's the most important thing. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up below. Comment below, which one do you personally prefer? Do you do straight bar dips? Do you use parallel bar dips? Do you add weight to them? What's your favorite style dip? Comment below. And if you guys are looking for workout programs, online coaching for bodyweight fitness, head over to fitnessfaqs.tv and learn how to master your body today.